The universe is vast and beautiful, but it's also quite terrifying. Among the billions of stars and solar systems, only a few are deemed habitable. The harsh reality of it all is that most of the universe is designed to kill us. Freezing temperatures, burning planets, acid rains, the cold vacuum of infinite space. No human is capable of surviving it. If you want to watch a true horror story, look up at the night sky and watch the stars burn. The Official List of Terrifying Planets Believe it or not, NASA actually compiled an official list of terrifying planets. Among the list of foreign worlds, they named six exoplanets, six of which are so deadly that even being close to them could prove deadly. First on the list is TRES-2b, a black gas giant orbiting the yellow dwarf star TRES-2, a solar system roughly 718 light years away from us. Due to the unique chemical composition of this planet, it absorbs over 99% of the light shed on it. This strange occurrence is still a complete mystery to us. No solid answer has ever been found to explain it. And chances are there's a chemical reaction happening on the surface of the planet that we have never been able to witness before. Not on Earth and not on any other observable solar system. Because of these properties, TRES-2b is registered as the darkest exoplanet on the astronomical map today. Discovered on the 21st of August 2006, it's taken a number of years for us to study and discover its many unique qualities. The mass of this dark planet is approximately 1.2 Jupiter masses and its radius is 1.27 times that of Jupiter's. In layman's terms, it's bigger than the largest planet in our local solar system. With an atmosphere a scorching 1000 degrees Celsius, the exoplanet gives off a faint red glow, almost like ambers in a cloud of black smoke. Still, despite its very intimidating appearance, it's the least dangerous place we will go over today. The list is still vast and terrifying. There are some even more inhospitable than the burning black planet. Next on the list, we like to call this planet a super Earth. Discovered on the 30th of August 2004, Thanks to the Doppler spectroscopy method, this terrestrial planet measures at 8 Earth masses and its radius is 1.87 times that of Earth's. This planet is tidally locked to its star. This means that it rotates at a speed that keeps one side of the planet consistently facing its star as it orbits. This locks the planet day and night cycle. One side will always be daytime, while the other is always night. Because of this, the day side can reach temperatures as high as 2400 degrees Celsius. This doesn't mean the night side is cold by any means. In fact, the dark side of the planet reaches as high as 1300 degrees Celsius. The reason the temperatures get so high despite having a dark side is due to its proximity to its parent star. This super Earth is only 0.0183 astronomical units away from its star. That's ridiculously close, a full astronomical unit being the distance from Earth to our Sun. That would mean that this planet is 21 times closer to its star than Mercury is to ours. In addition to some serious sunburn, the planet is chock full of volcanoes that emit some serious dust clouds. Similar to how Venus, these clouds trap the heat and prevent it from leaving into space. With an orbital period under 18 hours, this planet is traveling very fast. The atmosphere is composed of helium, hydrogen, and an excessive amount of carbon. This would mean that there is likely thick layers of graphite and diamond in the planet's interior. The interesting thing is that this planet is not an only child. It's got four more sister planets in the solar system that are drastically more hospitable. I guess you could say that 55 Cancri E is the black sheep of the family. The next planet has perhaps the most ominous names on the list, dubbed Poltergeist, BSR, 1257 plus 12c is yet another super Earth. This exoplanet lives in a pulsar system only 0.36 astronomical units away from the system center. A pulsar is a highly magnetized rotating neutron star that emits beams of electromagnetic radiation out of its magnetic poles. It's unlikely that this planet would have survived the supernova that took place before the pulsar formed. Consequently, this planet likely formed after this catastrophic event using material from the nebula left after the explosion. Another theory regarding the creation of this pulsar is that two white dwarfs attracted by each other's gravity may have merged into one another. Unlike that of a supernova, the merge would have been much less explosive, if at all. Without a definitive answer to its origin, 
and it being the first of its kind, this planet remains in a shroud of mystery. It's a whopping 2,300 light years away from Earth with a mass of 4.3 times the size of it, along with the 66-day orbital cycle. Even if we could somehow travel the distance to study this mysterious planet, the radiation emitting from its pulsar would crumple any spaceship attempting to approach it. Think of it like a spike shield. Any object that dared to approach it, it would be destroyed in the process. Dangerous, I know. Although, while Portugeist would destroy encroaching objects, this next one would vaporize them. Kepler 70b A rocky planet with a temper. It is the hottest planet we have ever discovered. Orbiting the sub-dwarf star Kepler 70, this planet is hotter than our own sun. It reaches temperatures of 6,800 degrees Celsius. The crazy thing is, this object is only 0.44 Earth masses with a radius of 0.76 times that of Earth's. The orbital period being only 345 minutes long, that means a day is only 6 hours long. Incidentally, this celestial object also passes very closely to its neighboring planet, Kepler-70c, regularly passing by at a distance of only 240,000 kilometers. That is the record for the closest planets have ever been when passing each other. It is believed that this planet was once upon a time a part of its parent star and as such results in the extremely high temperatures. Interestingly enough, this planet has not been awarded the title of exoplanet. More research must be done before earning the label. It's also important to note that this is not the only planet that has such a close relationship to its parent star. WASP-12b is also under similar conditions. This celestial body is 870 light years away from our system. In terms of size, its mass measures at 1.43 the size of Jupiter with a radius of 1.93 times Jupiter's. Only 0.03 astronomical units away from its host star, this exoplanet reaches temperatures as high as 2,200 degrees Celsius. Because of this, its relationship with its host star is quite a deadly one. With the gravity of the star being so strong, it is slowly absorbing WASP-12b into itself. In approximately 10 million years, the planet will be destroyed completely. With this in mind, there isn't much reason to study exoplanets of this kind much further. The reality of the situation is that they are doomed for destruction. Dealt a bad hand, these planets will never amount to much and fall low on the list of scientific research. Even so, some of these objects have some very unique features worth noting. It's easy to get hung up on the high temperatures and close proximity to their stars, but these objects may hold even more dangers under the surface. Next up, HD 189733b. This planet looks very deceiving. While it may look very similar to Earth, if you fly into its atmosphere, you may find yourself in some very life-threatening situations. A bright blue gas giant, this planet orbits an orange dwarf star in the constellation Volpecula. It lies only 63 light years away from our system, with an orbital period of 2.5 days. It seems likely that this planet is tidally locked to its parent star. The object's diameter is 1.1 times that of Jupiter, with a mass of 1.3 Jupiters. With an astronomical unit of 0.03 from its star, the temperatures of the day side reach up to 930 degrees Celsius, while the night side does not drop below 425 degrees Celsius. But what makes this planet so dangerous? First off, the winds of this planet carry particles of silicate a salt in which the anion contains both silicon and oxygen, blowing at wind speeds of 8,700 km per hour. These sandstorms would shred you to pieces. If you were to somehow survive that, then you would have to deal with the rain. Rain of molten glass. Talk about hazardous weather conditions. This is because of the planet's peculiar chemical composition and high temperatures. Immediately after being discovered, the celestial body became the subject of much interest. With the help of the Hubble telescope, we were able to observe its foggy atmosphere. Interestingly, when it orbits to a point that is most visible from Earth, it emits a reddish hue. Some speculate that this is caused by the haze in the atmosphere. After further research, we've determined that it contains particles of iron, silicates, and aluminum oxide. Apart from that, 
The atmosphere also contains water vapor, neutral oxygen, and organic methane. More so, investigations revealed the presence of carbon monoxide on the day side. However, the thing about this planet that sparked so much investigation is that it contained an unusual variety of methane in the atmosphere. This peculiar fluorescent state emits electromagnetic radiation in the infrared range. This is indicative of some unknown activity in the atmosphere of the exoplanet that to this day still remains a mystery. As these mysterious planets continue to be researched, they may yet hold some more valuable research for science. Dangerous as they are beautiful, these planets are a statement of just how lucky we are to be on a planet as kind to us as Earth, and as such, we should return the favor. Otherwise, we may be in store for a horror show right here at home. So, if you'd like to learn more about planets like these, let us know in the comment section below. While you're at it, why don't you check out some of our other videos here? Till next time.